Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jarrett, and we got a giant mouse, and it is review time. So let's get right into it. Now, thank you to Timbo for letting me check this out for review. I really appreciate all his support since the beginning of the channel. Man, thank you so much, brother. You know we love you and appreciate everything you do for us and our channel. Um, us and the channel. Let me say it like that. So this knife, I've been wanting to check one of these out for a while. When it came out in my card, it really caught my eye because Giant Mouse has some of the best quality my card. I mean, it's just so good. And this example is uh, not as furry as you might think. It is more of a dense type of micarta but it still creates even though it's nice and smooth it still creates that level of traction in your hand that's very comfortable nice and warm and really nice to the skin so i really like that and it just looks good now i believe riat is doing these now giant mouse did have an issue um in their earlier days because of uh, fit and finish issues and variations between models. So like you could have three examples of the same model knife and they'd all be different. So now that Riat's doing them, the quality is through the roof. I mean, it has really, really good build quality. The fit and finish, everything is done very well. The tolerances are extremely tight. Like if we take a look, this has internal stop pins. So basically, there's a, a pin hooked to the blade on the inside. Now, if I get this light out, I can probably get to come up because it is dark. You probably can't see it until I turn this light on. Bang. See the liner? How nicely fit that is in there? And then you see how they have the cutout up here for the stop pin to drop in place. Now, you can actually see it come around right there and lock up. Or hit the, uh, you know, hit the stop pin and then the lock bar, you know, snaps into place. The action. The action is really good and meh at the same time. Okay, so the flipper tab is small. Okay, it's a very small flipper tab. Now, this is going to be a prime, mostly primarily push button. It has a very nice sound to it that kind of like sounds like snapping fingers. And, um, but when you try to light switch it, what you can do, it's just, there's not a lot of, um, ramp there, I guess, to, to really place your finger. So you're relying on the jimping, which eventually then your skin gets in there and eventually it'll just get slick. So you got to clean out the jimping and make sure that your skin's not in there. Now that's going to happen regardless, but with the push button, it's not as bad and it's very reliable. Now. When you unlock it, the lock bar access to the liner, and by the way, the liner is done very well. I love the jimping and the chamfering on it. Nice lock up too, because that was one of Giant Mouse's issues was lock face geometry in the past. This one's very, very solid, and it's uh, well well positioned, like it's in a good place, for especially at, for early lockup. So lock bar is easy to get to. Now it has a ramp, a detent ramp. So one of the issues with it is that when you unlock it, right, the detent is nice and early, but the ramp goes from there to there. So when you unlock it, you might think you're past the detent, but if you hit that ramp, it'll jump back up. So you want to make sure you're past it. Now, the one way to guarantee you're past it is you just hold in the middle of the lock bar and let it go all the way down to here then you're guaranteed to be past it. Not an issue whatsoever. See, that's what happens sometimes. It'll jump back up because it's stuck on that ramp. But like I said, it's not an issue at all. This is mostly going to be a knife you go like that with. You unlock and you slap down. And like I said, you can always make sure you're past it. It, it is very smooth on its ceramic bearings. Not a false shut action, but very, very smooth. Um, nice and centered and you know like I said it is very smooth on ceramic detent ball and ceramic bearings now I believe the bearings are ceramic I know the detent ball is I believe the ceramic 
or the bearings are ceramic. Um, I have seen uh, Giant Moss use steel bearings in the past, though. Beautiful pivot collar, T8s, or large hardware all the way around. I believe it's T8s and T10s. Nice big hardware all the way around. Love to see that. No T6s at all. Even the clip screw is T8, and it is a reversible clip. So... Now, let's get into the cutting, or, you know, Ergos, Ergos, sorry guys, Ergos. So, the Ergos are pretty good. I mean, it's not a Benchmade Griptilian or anything like that. It is contoured, but it is thin in areas. Now, being that it's so thin down here, and it, it's, it's thick, not, I'm not going to say thick. It's a good thickness, right? It's good thickness, but because of how thin it is here, then you have the clip, of course you're gonna feel that clip. I mean, look at it. So in your hand, especially being the size, yes, you're gonna feel the, the clip significantly. You can always choke up a little bit and kind of pull your hand just a little bit over this little notch. And it's very comfortable. The pinch grips are comfortable. Utility, um, you, know, pos you know, hand positions are nice and comfortable. So it does have some comfortable grips, but in the primary regular grip, it's not the best with the clip, but it's still pretty pretty good. It's not bad. It's something you accept to have a good clip that functions very well. Now, cutting the geometry. So the blade stock is pretty thick. It is a crown spine, and it does have jimping in a great place. However, it is the geometry is not the best. Now, it's 20 thousandths behind the edge. It cuts okay. It does cut pretty good, and I, I'm not, I don't want to make it seem like it doesn't cut good because it does. It cuts fine. Um, I had no issues with it cutting for a regular cardboard. Now, when I got the thicker stuff, I did, but just regular cardboard, no issues. The, the geometry was okay for that but not the best. Like I said, with lightweight cardboard, it was no issue at all. It blazed right through it. It was perfectly fine. I had good amount of leverage into my cuts. No issues. But if we look at this blade, before we get into utility cuts, if you look at the blade and you look at the stock thicknesses, this is 20 thousandths behind the edge. Okay, 20 thousandths. It's not a very tall blade. Now let's look at another knife that's 20 thousandths behind the edge. Look how much taller the grind is. And the blade stock thickness is so much thinner. So for 20 thousandths behind the edge, this thing cuts extremely well. This is the TRM shadow. But when you shorten the grind, get a thicker blade stock. Now, and when you sharpen it, every time you sharpen this, it is going to get, I would say, dramatically thicker especially compared to a knife with a slow taper. So even though it cuts really good right now, the more you sharpen it, the less or the worse it's going to cut and you know, it's going to get significantly thicker. Is it that big of an issue? No. Is it that big of a deal? No, but it is a little bit of a hard use grind on a basic EDC knife. So um, I, I would have loved to have seen a hollow grind on this. Can you imagine this thing with a nice hollow grind? And it has the perfect um, like profile for a knife that deserves a hollow grind, in my opinion. You know, the thickness of the stock, if you're going to go with this thick of a stock, you know, and then just, it would have looked so good with a, a hollow grind. Now, Going to utility cuts. Utility cuts are pretty good. It, is, it does have a kind of, not a thick tip, but it's, you know, if we take back or bring back the TRM shadow, you can see how much thicker the tip is from this example. Now, it does work just fine. It's not bad. And you do have a decent amount of leverage into the cuts. Yeah, this is kind of pokey back here, but it's not horrible. And you can get by doing utility cuts just fine. You know, this blade shape is... It's almost like a straight back, but it has a little bit of drop right at the tip. So technically it is a drop point, but it kind of performs like a straight back. So, and a straight back is supposed to be a little bit of a tougher blade shape. Um, maybe not quite as much belly as most uh, straight backs have because the whole thing kind of tapers down. But yeah, utility cuts are just fine. No issues there. If we look at the sharpening trail, the sharpening trail is done really good. You can see the plunge line starts here ends right here you can see the shadow 
ends right there. So they did give you quite a bit of life to sharpen out of it. Now, if you were wanting to make this thing cut a little bit better, you could lay back the angle uh, of the edge and the edge bevel will be bigger and it will cut, you know, quite a bit better. So they're actually using Elmac steel and I doubt I'll be able to show you, but it's right there. You can see it. They wrote it down really small in there and it's Elmax. That's awesome. Elmax is great. Elmax is a good steel. So let's talk about the Elmax steel. Elmax steel, great steel. Now, one thing is it's kind of similar to M390 in a way, but just tougher. So it has excellent edge retention. And obviously we're talking about when heat treated correctly. Um, with the right heat treatment, it has great edge retention, but it it brings up the toughness a bit in the wear resistance um, in the steel over what you would expect from M390. Now, it's not going to be the the easiest steel to sharpen. Obviously, you know, if you know how to sharpen, it's, you know, it's not going to be hard to sharpen. All steels are easy to sharpen when you use the right stones and you know what you're doing. It's going to depend on the heat treat. Now, with uh, corrosion resistance, it's right in the mid-range. It's not going to be excellent. It's not going to be bad. It's just, it's going to be okay. Take care of your steel. You'll be just fine with it. But it definitely is, it's got some toughness behind it and great edge retention. Two things that you want to see in, you know, knife steel. So excellent steel choice. Um, ex you know, and, you know, the toughness is going to go up or down depending on the HRC and the heat treatment. You know, the higher the HRC, the, the less toughness it will probably have. But either way, just, you know, in um, just an easy way to look at it, though, it's relatively tough, great edge retention, and, you know, decent corrosion resistance. And it's going to be pretty similar to M390 when sharpening. Now let's talk about the clip and carry because this thing is going to carry so good. These wire clips, in all reality, you know, some people might think they're ugly. Think what you want, but for carrying and using, these are the best clips. They work so good in and out of the pocket. And this one actually has quite a bit of tension. So it's going to hang on nice and strong. And they give you just a little bit to grab onto and yank out of your pocket. The clip works fantastic. Now, you know, aside from how it feels in the hand, it works great. It is a great clip. Um, so no complaints on the clip. Even though the screw kind of, you know, is a little bit bulgy right there, it works just fine. And... The, I never had no issues with my jeans getting over it. Personally, that's me personally. Um, now, I forgot to mention this in the the action, but I tend to sometimes like to just go like this with this knife and then let it drop. So I get it with my pointer, pull it over, let it drop, let it hit my pointer, and then swing it shut. Kind of satisfying. But they got the brass pivot collar and the brass backspacer that acts as a lanyard hole. And like I said, the fit and finishing, like when you really look, like everything's crowned really nicely for the hand. Spine is crowned really good. It does have a taper from the spine thickness down to the tip to equal a nice strong tip that you're not really going to have to worry about. You know, the, the micarta is really good quality. The liners are fit in there really well. So many great things. So what are some bad? So I think we talked about a little bit so far, but let's get a little bit more in depth. So the flipper tab, the flipper tab, you know, it works. It does work. You know, it's not that it doesn't work great because it does, but I do find myself like, wanting it to be just a little bit bigger just a little bit and i think it would help just a little bit more i know it wouldn't have been as comfortable in this grip but you know it's there anyway so i don't mind uh flipper tab being a little bit bigger as long as it works good that's the biggest thing i want and this still works great as long as you're doing a push button but i think it would have been cooler to have it just a little bit bigger now Next thing, the the stock grind thickness. So I don't mind that it's this thick, especially with the flipper tab, because you want your flipper tab to be comfortable. Sometimes when they're really thin, they actually can be pokey and hurt your finger. So 
I almost think they should have just had the stock thickness to right here and then thinned out the spine, which in return would have made this thing a way better cutter. They could have added better geometry or at the very least, just give me a damn hollow grind on something like this. Now, the tip of it being a little bit thicker, I don't mind that because it is, you know, it still works great and it's going to be a nice, durable, strong tip. Um, but yeah, my biggest issue with this is the grind. It's just thick. Uh, you know, especially for a knife like this, it deserves to be a, you know, a little bit, I'm not going to say deserves. I don't know why I said it like that. You know, it would just benefit if it, you know, had a little bit better sharpening performance and cutting performance. And by sharpening, what I mean is that when you sharpen it, it's going to get thicker and you're taking life away from the knife when you sharpen it. Now, I you know, the thicker it is, the more thicker it's going to get every time you sharpen it. And, you know, it's going to have a chain reaction to where it's going to be harder to cut. You know, it's just not going to equal as great of a cutter as it was the first day you had it, which, you know, with a lot of knives, they don't have to do that. They can make it to where you can sharpen your knife a handful of times without it ever getting significantly thicker. Um, Next thing, like I said, the detent ramp, um, you know, I don't think this thing should have had a ramp put in because since the detent's right there, it would have just went right past it if they didn't have a ramp. Now I'm kind of fighting with the ramp. Either um, A ramp can make or break an action. Now, this is not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I enjoy the action just fine. You know, it's easy to work around. It's not an issue. And I'm not saying, I don't even want to put it in the bad really because it's not that big of a deal. But I just think it would have benefited this knife just a little bit to get rid of that ramp. Because, you know, the ramp winds up making the detent ball instead of just right there. It's from there to there. So, <laughs> you know, it would have just benefited it. Um, other than those things, awesome knife, awesome build quality, really nice knife, man. I mean, it's a, a very, very well built great knife and then like i said even with the flipper tab as small as it is and how it is the detent is really nice so it's very very snappy so i think they did so much right here and i never tried one of the titanium versions um but i'll be honest if i was going to pick one normally i would pick a the titanium model i'd pick this one i really would i'd pick the micarta it's nice and light it's nice and comfortable in the hand i love the micarta and normally i'd pick titanium over micarta but in a lot of cases that's not true and this is an example that uh i would definitely pick this one over the titanium model even though the titanium model it looks so great it's my cardo version i think looks better there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace